Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. So today I will try to discuss about a very interesting topic. This topic is that soil salinity, monitoring and also mapping. So in this time here you can see I already uh, write the code about the soil salinity monitoring and mapping in Google Earth Engine platform. So basically in this time I use this paper you can see. So here you can see the different types of spectral function for soil salinity indices. So here you can see soil salinity index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, index 5. So I use all of this index and also use here the normalized difference salinity index NDSI. Also you can see this index and uh, all of the things we can do using the Landsat 8 satellite imagery. Okay. And then try to make this uh, all of the things about uh, if you want to know the more details about this you can just simply read the paper then i hope you can easily understand about the all of the soil salinity index one two three four okay all of the things you can easily understand okay so basically in this time here you can see uh, we can use the try to show you that how we can easily calculate the soil salinity index using the different types of spectral function okay so you can see MDSI, this is the formula. Also, you can see brightness index, this is the formula. Salinity index 1, this is the formula. Also, you can see salinity index 2 formula. So, all of the formula we can easily implement in Google Earth Engine platform. So, you can see and we can easily create this type of map for uh, soil salinity index for the mangrove forest. And further, we can also make the monitor the time series chart of the soil salinity index for the different time period. Okay and also you can get you can see uh, i can simply click on inspector tab and click on any portion then i can easily uh, identify what the index of the soil salinity for the different region when i click here i can get the result you can see in my inspector tab i can get the result also you can see i can get the result and also further more analysis we can easily export this uh, full map uh, in a tip format and also make the other processing using the arcmap software or qj software so in this time i just simply open my arcmap software so here you can see i already downloaded this tp images okay so this is the raw image of the soil salinity uh, index which i downloaded from the google earth engine platform so now you can easily use the further analysis using the arcmap software for mapping the soil salinity index so here you can see i already imported the two files so one file is the mangrove forest uh, boundary shape file another is that um, soil salinity index uh, tip images okay so in this time i simply try to show you that how you can easily uh, display the map of the soil salinity index so for that uh, i can simply click on here and then go to this system toolbox and from that i can simply go to the special analytics tool after that simply you can see i can get the extraction tool and from this is struck by max so after that, I can simply choose my raster image. It is the raster image as a tip format. I simply select the raster image. As well as I also need to select the vector file of Shundarban boundary area. Okay, then simply click the OK. So now it is struck by marks and we can get the result. And from that we can easily display and sample the map including all of the things we can easily do okay so basically in this time here you can see this is the white pixel value is identify the high salinity index this type of white and the black is identify the low salinity index okay so we can easily use the different types of symbology uh, from the different types of color for identify the high and low salinity uh, density okay so now it's working Okay, it's done. Now I just simply uh, remove the remove this file. This file is not needed in this time. So here you can see I can get the uh, file in here for the full map. Okay, only for this map. So in this time I can easily use the different types of color band and also display the high and low salinity in this map. So in this time it's default color showing you can see 
this type of place uh, where you can get the white pixel white color it's identify the high salinity index and the black color identify the low okay so in this time it simply change the color so for that i simply click on the properties From this properties, I can simply use here the different types of color flooded. You can see so a lot of color flooded is here. It's just I simply select the color flooded. Okay, so you can see different types of color flooded. We can easily use. So I want to use this color flooded such as okay. So I use this color flooded. So it means that it this time height is showing this type of uh, red color and low is showing this type of blue color and it middle is showing the white color. This type of color we can get and then apply and okay okay so now you can see we can easily identify where the soil index high and low we can easily identify from this map okay and we can get the very better visualization and this image resolution is that uh, 30 meter resolution because we can use here the landsat 8 satellite imagery okay so now we can easily make the further analysis such as uh, make the map layout or other things we can easily do so for that i can simply click on this uh, layout view after the layout view, view, we can simply increasing the part. Okay, and also increasing the map size. Okay, I also increasing the page size from the page and print setup. So I use here the landscape. Okay, and increasing the width such as thirteen. and also height such as okay same so now i can simply display the map in here Okay, so I also increasing the sum size of this width. I simply put this as 15. Okay, then I hope it will be okay. And also center of this map. I simply put this on center. Okay, so now I can simply add all of the elements such as map, legend, title, all of the things I want to add in here step by step. So for that, uh, I can simply uh, go to the insert tab and then you can see first of the legend, simply select the legend. Okay, then simply next, next and finish. I simply put this lesion in here and also remove the all of the external part so i simply click the convert to graphics and then simply ungroup this part and then i simply select here this remove this and also and then simply put here the group yeah, after that i simply increasing the size of this file So in this time you can see this red color identify the high density of the soil salinity index where i can get also you can see it is low index so in this time uh, we can also add here this uh, map title okay so for the title i just simply put the title I simply click the title and then put the title such as
then I simply put on her and also increasing the map title size so just I simply increasing and also increase the size size as uh, 36 and bold and okay okay so because I also in, uh, decrease the size because it's very long so 28 is better okay so now i can simply put here this okay and also put here the, all of the stars as i simply put here the insert and then put here this uh arrow line not arrow for that i simply use this part and also put here this part in here increasing i put this part in here okay then after that i can simply add here the uh, grid line so for that i simply click on here the layers and go to the properties and then go to the new grid then next and then go to the properties uh axis inside inside okay then levels i simply increase the levels as suppose 12 particle left and right lines don't show lines then apply and OK. Apply and OK. Okay, so we can get this look like this. So in this time, I also need to rearrange this for get the better view. For that, I just simply okay. okay so I simply put this in here. Then it also bit okay. And then also increasing. Okay, and also okay, then so in this time, I simply add here the uh, base map such so as I simply go to the add base map. So I can simply add here the topographic and then add and finally i can simply save this map as a images or pdf file or which format you want to read you can simply save it so now this base map is added with my map okay so now i can see we can get the result look like this so now you can simply uh, save this map as a image or pdf file format and use it for your research paper or your presentation work okay so basically we all time we can use the different types of algorithm in the google earth engine platform for using the monitor the soil salinity index so in this time i use this uh, different types of spectral function such as normalized difference salinity index brightness index salinity index one to all of the index we can simply put this equation and then develop this model and then we can simply run our code and then get the soil salinity okay so if you have any question or any doubt you can uh, contact with me through my email so i will put all of my information in the video description if you have any question you can just contact with me and if you want to join my online training program for learning the google earth engine platform from beginners to advanced level all of the things as a beginners uh, you can easily join with me our next online training program will be start from the 10th march so in the meantime you can easily contact with me and also complete your registration okay so thank you for watching this video